a Mother Teresa to get up and say, hey, I just want to let you know, call that person, kick that person out, tell them to get out, get the hell out of here. You know, who do you think you are? It wouldn't fit because it's not their personality. Trump has his name all over the place on brands, okay? Uh, so did Charles Schwab, so did JP Morgan, so did Morgan Stanley, so did Dean Witter, so do many other brands. McLaren is someone's name. Ferrari is Enzo Ferrari's name, right? I mean, I can give you all of these names is someone's name. So can you imagine if you wanted to start a company, you said you're going to name your company after your name. What a show off, man. You are such a show off, you know? How dare you come out with a book and put your cover on top of the book? You're so insecure. You're such a show off, right? Okay. So all that stuff said and done. Typically, when you work in a company, the person that comes up and moves up faster is a person that is going to bring up the fact that they are really making an effort and they're making a case that I am working hard, I'm doing my part, and this is why dot, 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 okay? I encourage my guys at the home office to always come up to me and ask me for a raise, but I tell them how to ask me for a raise, right? I mean, if you got a real reputation of coming up to me and asking me for a raise based on numbers and results and all that other stuff, well, then I'll sit down and consider it. But I teach you how to ask me for a raise. I don't mind you showing off. I have one of our employees that will sit there and she'll, she'll put together a 20-page PowerPoint. And you know what the first 19 pages are? How amazing she is. And by the way, I love listening to it. It doesn't bother me. I like it. It doesn't sit there and for me go, you know what? Screw all this other stuff. No, it doesn't bother me. I'm fine with it. But now, let me give you a different side of show off. Let me give you a different side of show off. Showing off doesn't work when you show off in a way that doesn't fit your personality. That's when you screw up. Let me explain to you what I mean by this. If, you, if your style isn't like Trump and you try to show off like Trump, it wouldn't work. Can you imagine if Trump says, I'm going to try to show off like Mother Teresa? Do you realize how confused he would be? I mean, the guy would be so confused, it would be insane. He would be absolutely insane. <laughs> he would be absolutely insane if he showed off. Like, it, 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 I want you to think about tomorrow, Trump comes out and he says something like this. Uh, uh, good afternoon, American people. I just wanted to speak to all of you and let you know that I love you so much. And life is all about love. And I love the Democrats and Hillary. You know, all this time I've been thinking about it. I just love Hillary Clinton so much. And my favorite person... Uh, is CNN CEO. I just love CNN, Ted Turner and Anderson Cooper, such a sweet guy. And we just need to love each other. And there's a meeting and he goes around hugging every single one of the congressmen and senators that are Democrats and Hillary Clinton's there and he's crying. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine Trump doing that? You would be confused. The same goes if we were to ask you to say, okay, for a Mother Teresa to get up and say, hey, I just want to let you know, call that person, kick that person out. Tell them to get out. Get the hell out of here. You know, who do you think you are? It wouldn't fit because it's not their personality. It's not their personality. That's when showing off doesn't work. Years ago in 2002, when I got into the financial service, I got involved in 2001 in financial services. But 2002, I got involved in a different company, uh, 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 Transamerica. I had a very good experience. But I went there and there was this guy. There was this one guy who got up and he was speaking and I had no idea who this guy was. He was trying to copy another guy's style of speaking. He would walk like him. He was short. You know, he was trying to speak just like this other guy. He was all, the other guy was also short, but this guy would try to walk up just like him. You know, do everything like him. And I would sit there. I'm like, I was brand new, 2002. Maybe I've been in the business for a couple months. I said, man, it just doesn't fit you. You look so fake. This is awkward. Like my skin hurts listening to you. I can't even sit in here for, has that ever happened to you? See, that's a person that's trying to, show off like another person and it doesn't work. It only works if it fits your personality. So if you've ever been, listen, if this is your style and this is how you behave, if these two match, that's authenticity. But if this is your style, okay, let's just say this is your uh, style on how you are, your personality, your character, your style, your DNA, and you're trying to act like somebody else, everybody feels it and it doesn't feel authentic. So what does this mean? You got to figure out what fits you. It doesn't matter what you're doing. What fits your personality? Some people say, well, Pat, you know, how do you speak the way you do? This is how I am. Since I was a kid, I told stories. You know, 
This is my style. 